So people normally ask, what is Stance? Why Stance your car? Why ruin your car's functionality? Why do it? It's stupid, it's retarded, there's no point in doing it, you're gonna ruin your car. Okay. There's so many form versus function people out there, it's crazy. Once you commit to Stance, it's like, it's a way of life. Once you commit to it, you go into it with the mindset of knowing that you're going to be running through tires every four or five months. Your suspension parts are going to be weak over time, faster than what they were, you know, just like daily driving. Um, you won't be able to get into many places with steep driveways, with sharp inclines, sharp declines, what have you. But Stansk is a bad name, mostly because people don't understand it. People don't understand why we do it, you know, what's what's the point of doing it. But to each his own, it's you build your car for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can take a perfectly normal car, lower it, throw some wide wheels on it, get an aftermarket exhaust, like mod it the way you want to mod it, but still not ruin the car. The only thing you're ruining is, I guess, the amount of time that parts wear out, which is not that bad. Me personally, I have not bought a set of brand new tires yet. I buy used tires. Uh, usually those last me a good four to five months, which isn't bad, because by the time you, you save up enough to buy more tires anyway, so it's really not that bad. As far as suspension parts, uh, if you're going wider than what your what's factory, or if your car doesn't camber as much, then you won't have to worry about changing out suspension arms, camber arms, toe arms, all that. But for the 2013 Honda Accords, like like I have, the rears camber in like crazy. So I have to buy aftermarket camber arms. Wasn't that bad, about 130 bucks but as long as your toe is close to zero as possible, then you won't really have to, you know, worry about going through tires as fast. But um, as far as scraping and getting in and out of places, the trick is go at an angle. Most people go straight on, I don't know why. Uh, that's how you fuck yourself, pretty much. That's how you destroy your front bumper, your front lip, splitter, whatever you have. Uh, go at an angle. I'm finna show you right now. how you have to handle steep declines, steep inclines, driveways, speed bumps. If it's if the speed bump is higher than what your car is at, you're not gonna make it. Don't even try to don't try to do it. You just won't be able to go there. So like I said, uh, ground clearance, that's what I have. Still a, still a good amount, you know. Um let's see here. That's how long my exhaust sits. Pretty good. As far as the suspension arms I changed out, you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all aftermarket over there. You know? So it's not, it's really not too bad. I'm right next to the exhaust, so that's, that's how the exhaust sounds. Doesn't sound like you're not behind him now, does it? Give you like a better angle. Suspension arms. Probably can't see that, but. Right up there. Suspension arms. I'm saying he's not. So it's not that bad, you know? As far as people don't like the whole camera look. 
I think it looks good. Personally, like you see here. Now, I was mentioning about form. Really not that bad. It's only negative six in the rear. Tire still clears. Still space. Just stick the finger all in there. Don't mind the front bumper today, it's fucked up. I don't know how, but it's held on by zip ties. Let's see. Yeah. As far as the front, the front doesn't rub either. You know, you can barely, <laughs> you barely stick your hand all the way through, but, you know, minimal rubbing. You know, shot DSR for the wheels. This actually sits looking at it from the front. It's not that bad. A little bit of poke, but once you lower it more, it, it'll definitely fix that. But yeah, that's how she sits. Give you a quick walk around. That's how she looks from the side. Camber is, it, re, it looks good. It depends on the car. If the car has excessive camber, I can appreciate it. I just wouldn't necessarily do it myself. I'm only running the negative six in the back, negative three in the front. It's perfect for me, perfect for this car. Haven't gotten any bad looks yet, bad you know, complaints or whatever. It looks good as is. But when you try to go like, negative 20 and 30 and all that I'm just like mm, I don't know I, I don't want too much poke you know that's when wheel spacers come into play and you know um, cutting up your your arms and extending them and all that I'm not I'm not about that um, another misconception is that um, we think we're better than everyone else and that's at least me, I don't think that at all. I just like a nice, low, clean looking car. That's all I pretty really much, that's what I strive to do. I don't try to prove nothing to anybody. I don't try to like make my car look better than anybody else's. I'm just, I like, this is what interests me. There's the form guys, which is stance. There's the function guys, which are like the track cars, the cars who built for power, people built up with power. I don't care about power right now, at least for this car. This is a family sedan, not really, not fast. It, it's peppy, it's not fast. I don't want it to be fast, I don't claim to be fast. It is what it is. My next car, that's gonna have a bit more power on it. Don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I got three, three, three options that I'm really looking forward to, but we'll see what happens in the later years. But yeah, stance. Sense is just something you have to really fully commit yourself to. You have to go into it knowing you're gonna run through tires, knowing you're gonna get your suspension parts are gonna wear out, knowing you're gonna get looks and stares and people gonna talk shit regardless. It is what it is. Um, you just gotta just take it for what it is. So if you have any you know questions or whatever about lowering your car, exhaust, suspension, wheels, camber, offset all those components feel free to you know dm me um follow me on, on instagram i'll have my link in the description or i'll just have it on the screen right here and no feel free subscribe like and comment 2018 i'm gonna have i'm gonna be pumping out some videos man i'm gonna try to make this consistent but i need to just think of content to make so hope y'all enjoy it take care